So we just unloaded the load of watermelon here in Salisbury, North Carolina. Got a pickup about 11 miles away. Uh, there it is on the map. And uh, we're going to head over there. It's a load of milk heading up to Lynchburg, Virginia. So it's about 145 miles away. And uh, so about two and a half hours. Pays me $350. It's a thousand bucks to the truck. And then we'll grab another load first thing in the morning, heading up to Reading for Monday. And that's another 15, so uh, 2,500 altogether. Averages about 350 or so to the truck. 350 a mile, so not too shabby. So anyway, uh, stay tuned. want to hear that uh, probably going to be a couple of hours most likely a few hours I guess we have a couple of other trucks ahead of us that <coughs> is waiting on product it's apples it is not uh, not uh, milk like I thought it was so they're waiting on the product so it's probably going to be later this afternoon before they get us loaded so I'm not going to be driving by 2, 3 in the evening. It'll be a normal evening drive, probably up until around 6 or 7 o'clock. I hope not, because I'm going to make tacos tonight. Uh, got some new taco sauce, new taco flavoring. Haven't had it before, so we're going to give that a shot for dinner tonight. So in the meantime, I get to edit videos and hang around out here, out in the country. So, we shall see how today goes so thanks for watching we will get back with you soon well that was a change of plans that load is not going to be ready for a little while or at least the part of it so they want me to drive 180 miles to franklin tennessee and pick up another part of the load and then come back here later tonight and pick up the rest of the load first thing in the morning and then drive up to where I've got to deliver it. So, anyway, I guess tomorrow will be a short day. Today will be not so short, but not terrible, I guess, either. So, just something I wasn't planning on doing, but hey, that's the way it is in trucking. You know what they say. Well, I can't say it because it's stuff that rhymes with trucking and I don't want to say it on the channel but if you want it come to trucking anyway <laughs> uh, we'll update you on some more and see uh, see how it is so you know what I have no freaking clue what the heck I'm hauling so I thought it was a load of milk now nah, I get there and I see all these apples guess what they ain't apples either they were all tomatoes but they were green you know so and looking at it I could have sworn I could have swore they were they were apples. Of course, it did kind of dawn on me, and I tried to figure out why they got a picture of tomatoes all over their their billboard out there. But hey, you know it, it is what it is. So actually picking up squash and zucchini, and this place all they had was tomatoes, and they didn't think they were going to have squash and tomatoes, or I'm sorry, squash and zucchini until probably tomorrow. 
so uh, well later tonight anyway but so we're gonna go get over here in Franklin the squash and uh, we'll come back this evening and grab it so anyway we'll update you again all right well we're gonna go ahead and end this video we are in route now to go pick up those uh, that partial load that I was talking about so uh, it's about two and a half hours over yeah, about two and a half hours over there and then two and a half hours back to where we're at so anyway thanks for watching a little bit of a miss up on this load but uh, that's the way it is in trucking sometimes it's great sometimes it's not so great sometimes it seems like it's mostly not so great but no it's all right so thanks for watching the channel everybody uh that's out there on the road drive safe and uh, god bless and be well